Good morning from the edge. So we are kind of north, yeah, north of Flagstaff at Sunset Crater National Monument. So these, this is one of the three Flagstaff area parks. They all have a kind of a different feel to them. But Sunset Crater is, well, it's a crater. Um, but uh, all the mountains near Flagstaff are actually volcanoes and this is no different. So we're actually gonna pause it, flip it around and show you what there is to see. We are on the lava flow trail. Here's an interp sign about how it came to be, except for the sun is really bad. And we're gonna go across the bridge and then I'll show you a view of the actual sunset crater. So these are all lava flow here. glory sunset crater so the actual crater is on the top of it but you cannot see from this angle or really any angle inside the actual national monument boundaries you can hike up the mountain over here behind us and that's O'Leary Peak. I think that's O'Leary. Or is it... O'Leary's around here somewhere. It might be actually over there. But you can actually see down into the crater from there. So right now we are actually walking down a set of stairs. But we are completely surrounded by lava flow. So it's amazing how these very healthy ponderosa trees are just growing straight out of the lava beds. So there's the San Francisco peaks off to the south there, I think. So yeah, technically we're north of Flagstaff. Yeah, all these rocks right here is lava. So currently the visitor center is closed. Um, so I can't really tell you when this erupted because I don't remember. Um, we did get a map at the entrance, but I really didn't read it too much, so. We are starting to make our way back up to the upper level, but this is where we came from. And there's the trail down there, the lava flow. And behind Russ over here is 
the sunset crater itself. It's kind of cool how that tree right there is just growing out of cinders. So this is kind of cool looking. Look at that. This is what they is known as a splatter cone. Splatter cones form when lava is forced up through an opening and cooled surface of lava flow. And they're under it was fed by under Flow, underlying flow rather than a deep magnet conduit. So that's kind of cool looking. So this is some kind of beetle I'm assuming on this flower. We're gonna take a walk over here because there's something, I don't know if it's anything interesting or if it's just covering a pipe. There's definitely an open in there, but you can't really see down in it. I think it's just a cover on a deep crevice that they don't want people going down there. Maybe. So it is now raining. But it's just like a little rain, so I think the clouds actually add to the experience. Looking back at the main crater, or the mountain where the main crater is. So apparently there must be a brochure that maybe you can pick up in the visitor center or something that has numbers. So there's a number 10. Well, I want to walk down here. Yeah. So I'm assuming what this is what that grate was covering. So it literally is like a lava cave down in there. You really can't see it, but it's kind of cool. So we're sitting near the entrance of that cave I just showed you and it is blocked off so they obviously don't want people down in it but you can get to the entrance and you can actually feel the cold air coming through the, the I guess it would be a lava cave. Um, yeah so as like I was saying they don't want you in that one. Um, there is a lava river cave. Um, on 180 going towards the canyon, which I've yet to do. It is currently closed due to the world situation, but someday we'll take you on it. But it was so cool because I've never been to a river cave or a lava river cave before. And you can definitely see or feel the cold air coming through it. 
So all of these surrounding mountains here, the one over there in front of me, the San Francisco peaks behind the trees there, and then of course Sunset Crater behind us, they are all volcanoes. Matter of fact, Mount Humphreys in front of us here um, is actually still considered active. And it blew years and years and years ago. But never know if it's ever going to blow again. Some more of the lava flow. So this was what I was talking about a little bit ago, how volcanoes are all around us. And here's the map. So, yeah. So yeah, volcanoes are all around us. So we just read the sign and it said that it blew anywhere between, what was the date? 1040 and 1100 AD. So roughly a thousand years ago, give or take. So yeah, that's kind of cool.